This video is powered by Canada Dry. What is going on guys, it's me Andrew here and welcome to this tutorial on how to record your PC gameplay and your face at the same time using an XSplit and XSplit what it does that it allows you to live stream your um, games and uh, pretty much record and compress your files at the same time. So today is Sunday May 5th 2013 and I'm going to upload this on tomorrow on Monday May 6th um, 2013 so yeah um, XSplit is not a free program it is there's a trial you can download but it's also ways of getting it for free and if you want it for free um, you can go ahead and use YouTube or Google and you can find many tutorials on how to get for free but I will not be showing us how to get for free so I'm gonna use this example of how to um, I'm just gonna play through one one game or two games and then show you guys how to actually do the tutorial so yeah get the tires beat it let me play one more level. And oops. Yep, that's it. So I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. So yeah. Alright guys, so to do this you're gonna need X Splint and I'm um, assuming that you guys already haven't um downloaded, so you wanna open it up and you're gonna get to this very screen which is very intimidating and you're gonna see down here you have a bunch of scenes that you can set up for different games but I'm not gonna get into that right and I'm just gonna show you guys how to record like free with your face at the same time and use a small file so um, pro tip is that if you're gonna be using this program you wanna get the best performance without getting such a huge frame rate dip um, make sure you use uh, what's it called make sure you use this um, re record the gameplay to another hard drive apart from the one that you're reading the game from. So if you have, let's say, two hard drives, let me show you guys what I mean. Say I have two hard drives right now. I have my Windows HD and then my Spirit HD, right? I, this is where I keep my games and my boot information and programs and stuff. This is where I record everything to. So you guys can tell these are my gameplay videos right here. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, this is my gameplay video footage and a whole bunch of stuff. So I recorded two. I have two different hard drives. Um, so to set this up, first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna want to obviously get your webcam in the. Actually, no. Before you even do that, you're gonna want to get your game in the in the scene, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Super Meat Boy. So that, that was the example I was using. It's opening up right now. And let's wait for it. Go ahead and try to skip this. Super Meat Boy is right there. Okay, so you're gonna want to go over to uh, File, Add, um, Add Game, right? And once you once you're there, you want to select the name of the game, and you're just gonna tell you what DirectX version it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And now you guys can tell that it's in the corner right here. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize Super Meat Boy. Um, but you guys want to make a full screen, right? And um, so you want to just go ahead, right click on the game. All right, the game be recorded and then drag this all the way to 1280 by 720 all right you can change it to custom let me see if you can change it to 1920 1920 by 1080 if you want to right let me go back oops not oh actually no it's because i'm recording the game at um i'm recording the game at 1280 by 720 that's the maximum resolution that the well i'm actually recording the game at 12 I'm playing the game at 1280 by 720 so I can't go any higher than that. So if I wanted to do so, I can go into the game settings and change it to um, to 1920 by 1080p to record at 1920 by 1080p. But I have it set up at 1280 by 720 so just drag everything you see here and here um, to maximum. And um, that is that for that part. Now we're going to want to set up our webcam. Okay, So you guys can tell that I am using the... I'm not using the webcam right now because when I make tutorials, I actually have my webcam in the corner of the screen about right here. But I can't use—I can use it both at the same time, but it's just too annoying to do so. I do have a video on how to use the webcam with both more than one program, but uh, I'm not gonna do that right now. And I'm gonna go to Add Camera. All right, then you select the webcam you have. So that's my live cam HD 3000. Select that, and you can see my face right there. Um, but it's too big, right? So you wanna right-click on that, go to Position. And you can change the, you can actually change the width and height of that. So I'm gonna make mine 12, 1280 by 722. And afterwards, I'm gonna just use this right here in the corner and make it small. You see? So I'm gonna turn up the resolution so it's high, and afterwards make it smaller like that, and then place it in the corner. 
Um, let me just go ahead. Place in the corner. And you guys can make it as small as you want. So I'm going to make my like that. You guys can still see me. Um, and yeah, one more thing you need to do is that you also have to have add a headset because some microphones or some webcams do come with microphones and um, it does get annoying when you are trying to record um, your gameplay and your microphone from your webcam interferes with your actual microphone from your headset so um, we're gonna actually add a, a microphone right so I'm gonna go ahead and here add audio device and I'm gonna add sound blast or sound blaster my headset headset microphone sound blaster and then it's right there so I'm gonna go ahead and check that and um, you wanna right click on it go to configure audio capture and make sure this is checked this is checked and just press OK alright once that's done let me go ahead and remove this right here once that's done um, yeah once that's done uh, you can now set up the audio for the game because sometimes when you do record with uh, XSplit and your game audio is too high, it will drown out your voice. So you can go to settings and change the X or sound effects um, volume to bare minimum. Or if you don't want to do that and you just find that being a hassle, you can um, go right here and turn down where it says sound, it has a little speaker icon, turn it down to the bare minimum, even half a half a dot or whatever, so tr try recording a, a bunch of tests to see which one sounds better, and uh, once you get the right settings for the game, you can go ahead and do that. Now we're going to actually, sh I'm going to show you guys how to um, record the game and set up the video file for recording. Um, so. Uh, right now, these are the settings that I use, and it works flawlessly with most of my games, or all of my games, actually. Um, right now, I am using uh, 8, uh, what do you call it, the bit rate is in KBPS, and um, when I do rec render with Sony Vegas, I use AMB, um, but it's really up to you, though, but this is what I recommend using. So I use 8,192 kilobits per second, that's equivalent to 8 um, MBPS or 8MB, 8MB, I think, yeah, 8MB, it's not MBPS, 8MB or MBPS, I'm not sure. Um, for CBR, VBR, I do like using CBR, but for some reason with Super Meat Boy, like, it doesn't work, so I leave it on VBR, even though I can put it on CBR, that is what I use when I render. So I'm going to just change that to CBR right there. You click here, and um, yeah, just, just to say, oh, right here, where it says Unquarter Preset, um, in order to avoid your game from lagging, unless you have an i7 or any of that, since I am using an AMD CPU, and some games do take up a lot of CPU usage, uh, I do recommend leaving it on default, but if you um, want a smoother gameplay with less minimal lag, leave it on super fast, but you are going to have to re-render the video, uh, which is the most annoying part, but it doesn't matter because most people do edit their videos either way. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave mine on super fast. It is gonna, it's still gonna record the files or the gameplay um, very small, but it isn't going to be as small as it would be if I was to be using, let's say, um, the default or even slow. So if you have a very <laughs> high end, this says don't try without monster CPU. If you have a very high end i7 CPU, you can go ahead and try that. Um, but yeah, the, this all, uh, all depends on the game you're playing. A game like Super Meat Boy won't use up that much CPU, so for that, let's say I can turn that to fast and um, get away with it. So, But if I was playing a game like Grand Theft Auto, then I, I'll just leave it on super fast. Uh, so yeah, uh, pretty much this part right here is the same thing as that, so whatever you change here will match here, and I don't recommend changing anything here. Um, video side, just use the default, default stage resolution, okay? And um, for the format audio, just use a stereo, and then the bit rate depend on how good your microphone is. I set mine to 192, and I use AAC LCHQ. Uh, my output file, I use MP4. You can also use FLV and choose never split files, and then press OK. If you want files to be split, select how many how many MBs um, do you want, how many per 
uh, how much, like, say it records 100, then it splits, then 100, 100, then it splits, another 100, then it splits. But I'm going to leave mine on never, never say never. I'm going to leave mine on 100 or never, and afterwards click OK. And um, let's set up the hotkeys because it does get annoying to come back here and click um, look or local recording and then go back into your game. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to general settings, hotkeys. All right, and um, go down here. It's just right here. Start and stop local broadcasting, or you can right here. So I'm gonna change that to the key to F2. You can just click on this pull-down menu and select F2, and um, you can go ahead and also set a whole bunch of hotkeys to toggle your mic, toggle speaker, push to talk, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, so yeah, that. Oh yeah, and the resolutions. Um, right now I am using, I'm not sure why it's telling, oh, yeah, you can check a whole bunch of these stuff and it will appear in the menu so you can select which resolution you want to use. Um, if you want to get better performance while recording, you can also disable Windows Arrow, and I can do that right now, and it will disable Windows Arrow, and it's actually much better if you do this, but since, since I have like 12 gigs of DDR3 RAM, um, doesn't affect me that much, so... Yeah, you guys can tell that is about it. What well, if you go to profile? Yeah, you just see a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm not born in 1992, this is fake information. So, yeah, that is about it. So, when you're ready to record, open up your game. All right, open up your game and then hit F2 on your keyboard like that. This part right here will turn um, red, showing that you are recording. Well, if you're in the game full screen, you won't be able to see it. Um, but if the game does support windowed mode, I do recommend playing the game in windowed mode since you are going to get way more frames per second. And I, if you're going to play the game um, at 1920 by 1080p, I do recommend um, turning down the resolution to 1280 by 720, which is the resolution that you're recording at. So you get way more frames. And um, yeah, so you guys can tell that. Let me move this over to the side. You guys can tell that everything that happens in the actual games, the actual game happens in um, XSplit. So it's pretty much the same thing. I'm right here. Uh, let me go ahead and skip that. See? There's, there's a bit of a delay, but it isn't that bad that it's super noticeable. So. Yeah, save the princess. But yeah, that's it. That's about it, guys. Um, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Um, it's been me, Andrew, aka Andy the Kid. This video is powered by Canada Dry. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, and leave a nice comment and subscribe. And also hit that like button. Bye, well, yeah, guys. Later.